Hi everybody and welcome. It's 2020. Um, I had wanted to get this video in a little bit sooner, but I have had a bad cold. <laughs> and prior to that, we had a stomach bug run through the house and, you know, fun and exciting. So anyway, feeling a little bit better, on the mend as they say, and I've gotten some stitching done and I have a lot of exciting stitching things happening in my life. So, here's a video. Um, item number one. Let's start with the most exciting. Um, so, quick history. I So I've been stitching for like 30 years on and off, more on than off, I guess, at least as an adult. Um, but after my daughter was born, I stopped stitching. And it wasn't until April of 2019 that I picked up a project again and finished it. And then I started here on Floss Tube in July. So I came into 2019 with zero whips. I ended up with about 15. My most exciting whip, I think, at least right now, is that I started a Chatelaine. So mine is Egypt Garden. Let me show you what that kind of looks like finished. Here's what it looks like the last time you saw it. I hadn't gotten much done. And I kind of ran into a problem with like beading it. It was on like a large scroll frame and I had a ton of trouble beading it. Um, and so what ended up happening is that for Christmas, I got an American Dream floor stand that went kind of matched all of the scroll frames and the other lap stand that I have. So they're all from kind of the same line and I have started working on my Chatelaine again. And it's made a huge, huge, huge difference. Like, um, I'm going to show it to you here in a second what it looks like now, but I have been able to kind of keep a good organization system. Um, so all of my different threads and beads and everything for this are in this photo box. I've also started using tacky bobs, which are like the best invention in the world. Um, and they make beading so much easier. So I just in the past like nine days have made tremendous progress on it. And I will show you that and my floor stand now. So here is where my Egypt Garden Chatelaine is now. I actually finished everything for the center fish pond and then um, including all the beading and then next I will be working on the outside and what has made my progress so quick in comparison is that now it is on a big floor stand. And this thing was like very like I guess it was okay to put together but oh my goodness <clears throat> it was something else um I put it together on Christmas Day and I didn't start working on this again until like New Year's Day but this is kind of a beast it really does take up a lot of space but I'm hoping again that it will be worth it so anyway the next time you see this I'm hoping again for meaningful progress and we shall see where that takes us. The other thing that I've done is I've made a lot of progress on Lady Hera. And I have a goal of finishing her by Valentine's Day, which I think is very, very ambitious. But I'm going to go for it. <laughs> so let me show you where she's at now. This is what Lady Hera will look like when she's done. I'm sorry, you're getting some glare. Um, and here is where I'm at now. So I have actually done quite a bit around here, backstitching and um, filling in a lot of the peacock's tail. I finished filling in these flowers and stems 
and I've almost finished all of the DMC stitching in the um, curtain. So this pattern is no joke. It is, this is my first Mirabilia in like a decade or more. And I clearly jumped in with something that was nice and easy. <laughs> um, just the peacock's tail. I mean, it's beautiful. It has eight colors of DMC, three colors of Kranich, and two colors of beads. So it again takes a long time, but it's beautiful. It's going to be gorgeous, and I can't wait to finish it. And I'm hoping again to get more, um, a lot of progress done by the next time you see this. So you've seen kind of my two biggest projects on the needles, and here are some of the little ones that I'm working on. So I, I went into a lot of projects that have been in timeout, and one of my New Year's resolutions was to, <coughs> excuse me, get them out, start working on them, make progress, get finishes, all that kind of stuff. I am doing Stitch from Stash this year, so I want to finish what I've started. I want to work on projects that I've kitted. I want, I want new, nice things hanging on the walls. So I got Miss Bingley's library out of time out. So she's a Plum Street, and this is what she looks like. Um, last time I hadn't gotten very much done. I don't think I've shown her since July, but here she is now. One thing that has helped is that I have started stitching pieces that are simpler and have color blocks in hand using the sewing method. And that works very well for me because I can go quickly and I can just keep working. Um, although this is like a Jane Austen quote. Um, it's really like a big white house and I don't think I thought about that when I got the project and also I really when I kitted this up this was kind of the first piece that I kitted up um, when I was coming back to cross stitch and I like did everything wrong the store where I bought the fabric and the pattern didn't have all of the called for flosses the floss list does not indicate which ones you need more than one skein of and so I just disaster from start to finish really but no it's not a disaster um I ran out of my color for the roof which is why it went into timeout I reordered this floss it came looking totally different so I couldn't even use it I ended up trying to match it with some DMC which it's not perfect but it's okay I guess um I used, ended up using Dinky Dyes Natural for the house, and I had to leave out two rows across of the white um, because I didn't have enough. Um, so I've just, uh, I've had to make modifications and changes and pull from stash and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, the colors of the flowers are different, the books, I just have a lot of like differences. And I also didn't even center the design correctly on the fabric. Ugh. but I'm determined we'll get it done I it is pretty I do want it hanging on the walls I have no idea the fabric is like a nice um kind of dusky lilac I don't know yeah I guess it's picking it up well um I don't know what count it is but you know I am enjoying it I want it done it's going to be done it is soon um Another little thing, like actually the first cross stitch piece that I picked up was like, I had a little Pusheen kit that just, you know, had a couple of cute designs and it came with these tiny squares of Ada. And I realized that this just didn't like work for me. So I restarted it on linen. This is like a different design from the little book. And again, I'm stitching in hand, um, using the sewing method, it's going fast. And so this is technically my oldest whip and yeah it's fine um i think it's going well so this is another one i want to finish soon these three little designs 
and I had a new year new start. I have decided to stitch the entire series, the, <coughs> the entire welcome series from the drawn thread. So welcome winter is the first one I'm stitching this year and I made a halfway decent start on it. So this is a either 28 or 32 count. I have to get better at writing this stuff down. Linen in the color flax and I've just, you know, done some of the letters and done the stitching. There are some specialty stitches in it um, that I'm kind of saving until the end, but for now, I really like working on it. And it's going really well. So those are kind of the whips that I've been working on since New Year's. Um, I seem to have, I have like three full coverage pieces going. Treasure Hunt Bookshelf, Heroes and Heroines, and The Wedding Kiss. And I haven't been working on any of them. I don't know why. I have Pattern Keeper. It's wonderful. And I just have like this block, like a complete and total mental block on anything full coverage. And I have no idea why. <sighs> Sigh. My hope is to make some progress on them. Um, I can show you one. Hold on. Here's Treasure Hunt Bookshelf. And I just, I took this out a little while ago. And honestly... I didn't even know where to start. I didn't know what color to pick. I didn't feel like inspired. I do have a little bit of a mistake, in, a counting mistake in here. And so that does make it a little bit difficult. I'm not frogging it and restitching. No way. Because it doesn't really make a difference. Like in the grand scheme of it, because it's a little sort of fuzzy anyway, there aren't many defined lines in it that it won't make a difference. It's just making it challenging. My goal for this is hopefully by 2021, I kind of wanted to fill this Q-snap. And if I'm really focusing on this, like I can, I can bang out a page a week. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six pages. But I don't know. I'm hoping that this is just like a fluke and that in, you know, a couple weeks or something, I will feel like stitching this and I will get back to it. And that by the time 2021 rolls around, can't believe we're saying that 2021, I will, you know, have this filled and be ready to put it on like either a larger Q snap or a skull frame, something like that. So anyway, I guess for goals, like I kind of talked about goals in a previous video, but I wanted to do it in a more organized way here. Goal number one, Chatelaine. I want to make meaningful progress on this. What does that mean? I'd like to finish half of it this year, but we'll see. Um, the floor stand makes it a lot easier to stitch, so I think that that's possible. Is it probable? I'm not sure. So anyway, goal number one, half of Egypt Garden by Chatelaine. Two, Mirabilia. I want Lady Hera finished by Valentine's Day. I want to start and finish a second Mirabilia and start a third. Now, I have several fully kitted. Um, number one, actually, maybe four. I have Roses of Provence. And um, doing the over one skin when it's not charted over one has really slowed me down. And I've also, um, some of the floss that I want to do this is like back ordered to like 
eternity. So this is unfortunately for two reasons in timeout right now, but it's pretty. Um, for my birthday in mid-April, I am starting Tree of Hope by Mirabilia. And I am stitching this on just um, natural linen. And it came a little stiffer than I would like. This is 32 count, um, but it's just natural linen. And I've got all of the Karen water lilies and beads and everything that go with it. So this is my going to be my birthday start for this year, definitely. And another likely start for the year is um, Renaissance Mermaid. So I have, as I've shown before, I've got um, Under the Sea Fabrics Galene, which is lovely. It's, um, it's also the opalescent version. Um, so I've got this to stitch it on and I have some silks and the Karen water lilies and the bead pack and the cranic and everything. So I've got, I've got everything to do it. I'm very eager to do it. And then maybe more towards the Maybe more towards the end of the year, I will start Raven Queen. I also have Under the Sea Fabric in As You Wish. It's 32 count. So, and I have everything for that. So, like I said, I need to stitch from stash because I've got some good things stashed. So hopefully, I can get some Mirabilia started. Oh, I also, I did actually organize everything. So patterns with any of the materials I have for them are in these bags. I've got 24 of them. They're filled, folks. I have none left over. But that's okay. I have two lavender and lace that I would like to start. So, one of them is Firefly Fairies, which is Picture This Plus Zephyr, I think. I always get these mixed up. But anyway, pretty blue fabric from Picture This Plus. I thought about doing the natural and kind of like bleach dyeing it like they do, but then I thought I might ruin like a really nice piece of fabric and then where would I be? So I got something different. Um, and then I also plan to start Fairy Dreams by Lavender and Lace. Thank you, Christy. And that will be on natural linen because there's so much, like there's a background and she's big and I think it would just look good on natural. Also, thank you, Christy. <laughs> so, Chatelaine, Mirabilia, Lavender and Lace. And then I've got my Drawn Thread Welcome Signs. Um, I have four cuts of fabric for them, and but I and I have everything, of course, for winter. I'm working on it now, and I have the pattern for summer. This is what it looks like, and I don't have anything else. So I am hoping to, you know, finish winter and then um, order the threads for spring and, you know, start working on it and hopefully collect the other patterns this year. That would be nice. I also have, if I am successful in sort of getting my whip list sort of cut and finishing things and everything, um, there are some designers that I really, really, really would like to try to stitch this year at some point, or maybe they will be like my gift for 2021 if I, you know, meet my 2020 goals. I don't know, but I would love to stitch a Joan Elliott, a long dog sampler, primitive hair, and ink circles, and like a thousand more. But like those are the top four designers that 
I would like to stitch. So I think that will work out. I think that will be okay. That will be what I do. Um, like for example, from the primitive hair, I have, I have the old winter with the called for fabric, which is this beautiful kind of snowflake design. Um, let's see. I'm also doing a stitch along from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. There's spring. Oh, I don't remember the name of it, but I'll insert uh, some kind of image here. And I just plan on getting white linen um, to stitch this on. The first part is released January 24th, so I have a couple weeks, and then I'll start that, and I'm hoping to keep up with it throughout the year. So, anyway. Um, in not cross stitching, but needlework news, I have been working on um, Floral Star from Nancy's Needle, and um, I've made good progress on it. I mean, this is something that if I sit down with this for like 30 minutes, I feel like I make a lot of progress. And here it is. So all I have left, so this border has to go around and then I've got another thin border of this sparkly purple and then a thin border of the darker green so I've got I've got some more work to do on this but honestly this is going to be done fairly soon and I'm actually stitching a second one of these to make a pair so I have two of these or I have another one entirely to stitch I also have um, this is very similar but I have enchanted garden um, I have the materials to stitch this. And I also have um, two gingerbread houses. Which, on closer inspection, I've noticed that the Christmas tree is like a mahogany brown. So I'm probably going to change that and find like a green or a sparkly green to stitch that in. But it's pretty. And for me, Calgic Canvas is a little bit like a palette cleanser. It gives me something different to do and still produces a really pretty result. And it goes very quickly, I find, in, especially in comparison to like a Hade or a Chatelaine, which can be um, time consuming. But anyway. That was, um, so my first floss tube for 2020. I have a lot of stitching to do. I have many, many goals, but I hope to reach them. I hope to be able to update a little bit more frequently, depending on what I get done and how I'm feeling. And I hope all of you have a really, really lovely, um, 2020 and a good winter or summer if you are in the southern hemisphere and anyway i will see you next time thanks bye